joined with the one and only Leah Hicks. Thank you so much for joining us. Leah, how are you? I'm, I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, um, things are going well for me in the art world. Yeah, uh, we've been knowing each other for quite some time and uh, I've seen you here and there on LinkedIn. So I had to go ahead and reconnect with you. Uh, it's so great to see you again and have you with us uh, on this interview. So, okay, so for anyone that doesn't really know anything about you, could you play, please tell us a little bit about yourself, um, what you do for a living? Well, I am a visual artist, I'm a painter, I call it 2D sculpture. And basically what I do is take texture and acrylic and I, I, I paint on canvas. And a little bit of a background behind, by me is I was in a car accident in 2005. So I learned how to paint with my left hand. So that's pretty much where it all started prior to that. Like I took graphic design in school where I learned the fundamentals of art. And then I also took life drawing so I can learn form and figure. Um, and because of that, I really developed um, into becoming a professional artist. Very, very cool. And how long was that ago? Like uh, when did you start? Well, um, I've really been painting like pretty much. I've been an artist, I've always been an artist, but I really, really developed it in uh, probably 2008 till now. Okay, very cool. And uh, what would you say is uh, the inspiration be behind your work? Oh, I was thinking about that. And the inspiration I find usually, I, if I go for a walk in the woods or if it's a really nice day and I'm looking at the clouds and the sky or even at nighttime when I'm looking at the stars, like I find nature, I really connect with nature and that inspires me to create more and I really believe it comes from like another source whenever I tie them all together. Could you tell us a little bit about your technique or what kind of mediums you use? Ah, uh, sure I can try. Like I, I said, I took a uh, uh, their principles and elements in college. So that's, I use uh, depth, eye movement, contrast, proximity, balance, um, and all those funky words. And, and on top of that, with my, my figure drawing, um, that's how I have developed my, I tell it, that's how I tell my story. So with it, I have the canvas and then I have textile or even just acrylic paint. and. I use gradients and contrast. So if I use a secondary, I use a lot of like uh, primaries and secondary colors, a lot of contrasting colors. Um, like if I use green, I'll use a lot of white or I don't want it to look like Christmas, but I, 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 I use, I sometimes use like a green and then four different shades of green and maybe some brown. I do, I, I find uh, a different color combinations is, is something very, uh, it gives me a lot of excitement with my paintings is the color. What really inspired you to become an artist? What, what made you pursue that uh, career? I don't know, whenever I was a child, I took a uh, drawing and I was, I've always been really attracted to art. Art is always, is always connected with it. So I pursued it um, earlier. I, I used to be a, a clay sculptor and I, took, I was sculpting for a while. And then, like I said, I was in the car accident and they didn't know what they could do with me because my strengths and um, like I was selling at like a manager's store and I wasn't, I'm not able to be in that, that capacity of that leadership of uh, directing teams and whatnot. So they found um, art was, uh, they saw something really special with what I was doing because I, like I said, okay, I could do, I could do art. So I tried to do that again. And, and they really, my, my team my, from the accident really encouraged me. So, and 
Well, since then, like the government bought a, 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 a bunch of my paintings. I've had shows all over the world, you know. It's really, really progressed for me. It's been, wow. uh, it's been an amazing journey. Are you inspired by uh, anyone? Like, do you have an artist uh, that is like influencing your work or inspires you? Oh, well, what inspires me is definitely three artists, which is Dali, of course. Dali's always, he's always been my favorite artist. He's my favorite artist because of his surrealism and the way his perspective, the way he can capture you and really make your eye wander around the painting and, and spark curiosity. I really connect with Dali. He's one of my favorites. Um, Dali. <laughs> Yeah, secondly is probably yeah. Second is, is probably Klimt, and uh, I like Klimt because of his finger drawing. He's very good at drawing the female figure, but he's also can combine it with abstract, abstract uh, paint, abstract ways. So he can, he really combines the two, and he does it very successfully. And same with Picasso. I find like he's wonderful at uh, doing realism, but he is also exceptional at his uh, abstracts. So it's very interesting how he, an artist can be so strong at two different mediums. Are you following anything at the moment? Is there anything online that you find interesting, like in the art scene? any genre in, in particular? If I just think about the people I follow on Instagram and social media is uh, a lot, the mostly abstract and expressionistic and that's kind of the, the genre I've fallen into. That's a, the, the, the people I'm surrounding myself with. As we all know, we had this horrible, crazy 2020 that uh, happened last year. Um, how did it go for you? I know it was really tough for a lot of people, but how did you uh, cope with all the changes? Did you find that you're challenging? Um, what, what did, what, tell us a little bit about the changes you had to go through and uh, how, uh, how you dealt with it. Um, I find the changes with 2020 was different because I really had to go into self-isolation and I, I was thinking and I, I stayed in there for a while and um, I found every, I got down and then I, I came out of it. I really developed my social media ways and learning different techniques and uh, learning how to make videos and what and, uh, and 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 posting every day and getting involved and with my art and getting people involved and creating fans and keeping interest so it has been challenging because I've had to go into a different route of social media and I found that a little daunting not daunting but more depressing because I like more realistic people like to see my art in real life you know and by a picture like I say like picture you can manipulate the picture you can make a picture look like something when it doesn't look like that at all so I always say it looks better in real life you know mm -hmm. I think it's been challenging for a lot of people for sure and uh, one thing that uh, happened to you not too long ago is that you got to be featured in a world renowned in magazine in Vogue magazine so congratulations for that and uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about how would, how does it feel to be featured in Vogue magazine and uh, how how did it happen? Like, could you tell us a little bit about it? I was in, I, I guess where it stemmed from, it stemmed from, I was in a show in Florence, Italy, and I think that's where they found my name and they were looking for a Canadian artist and, and they put, they found my website and then uh, I don't know, I got an email saying, would you like to be in Vogue magazine for three months? So I said, I'll, st I'll uh, absolutely. So I did that. They decided what paintings to put in and they did a write up for me and very kind. I'm very, very honored to have that happen to me. Yeah, that, it's, it's so inspiring. Like I'm sure uh, you right now, everyone that uh, is uh, an aspiring artist that is hearing uh, your story is getting uh, 
extremely inspired. Speaking of inspired, could you, I have a, maybe a little bit of a tough question. What was your biggest challenge in life and oh. how did you overcome it? Well, my biggest challenge with, uh, with art is selling the art. And I find it um, the biggest, biggest, hugest thing is to be at a show for a couple of days and being able to interact with the people and just being present and uh, being there and interacting. I find I found that very, very hard. I, I'm, it's, it's been extremely, extremely almost painful for me, but um, I've overcome it by, I keep doing it. I keep showing up and you know what? It gets a little bit easier every time I do it. I, I swear it does. I don't know if it, I think that fear is normal, yeah. but um, to the extreme that I can take it, it's getting a lot more calm a lot more manageable. I bet, yeah, it's so hard to put yourself out there and, you know, talk to people sometimes. It could be nerve wracking and uh, make, even making the first step, I think it probably is the hardest thing to do. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super duper happy for you. And uh, I'm really, really uh, excited for the future uh, to, see, to see what's next and what's upcoming. Um, are you currently working on anything in particular? What, what is next for Leah? Well, right now I'm just finishing up a bunch of paintings right now, like varnishing and doing the sides and putting the, the mounting material on it. And uh, I think my biggest uh, project, one of my, my every, all my projects are massive, but my next big project is I'm gonna do 20 large, ca large canvases. So I'm gonna get that done in, in uh, for the summer. Like I'm planning on painting in my garage and all over the place to get them done. For those of you who are interested in uh, purchasing your work, uh, where can we find your work? You can find my work at Art at Gallery in Toronto. It's on it's 14 Distillery Lane, and it's also at Santini Gallery, which is on Preston Street in Ottawa. And you can also look at my website. I have all my paintings on there. Um, and also I have them on my art in some smaller galleries. I have one at, at uh, Studio 87 in Perth and a couple online galleries. But the best thing is to go look at my website and contact me. Um, we're gonna put Leah's website and her social media links uh, in the description of this video so definitely check leah's work uh again where can we find you online oh um mostly instagram which is uh leah leah.hicks.art okay very very cool so check out leah's art uh leah hicks and it's uh, also leahhicksart.com right on your website? Uh, no, it's just leahhicks.com. leahhicks.com, sorry. Uh, Leah Hicks, Canadian artist, uh, hardworking, amazing person. Definitely check her work out. And uh, thank you so much, Leah, for joining us on this interview. It was so exciting to have you and to see you again. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, all right. So guys, don't forget to check us out on canadafashionmag.ca. Support Canadian businesses and artists. See you later, guys. <laughs>